Alexander Wright's here with another video, and today we're going to be going over some new inks that I picked up from Ferris Wheel Press. Um, I got these in the mail uh, while I was on vacation. Um, I apologize. I do have a cold right now, so my voice isn't the best. Um, so most of this will be done through uh, video when I'm not speaking. Um, but yeah, I picked this up on Ferris Wheel Press's website. They had a deal going where you'd get one free if you bought two, and so I being a person who loves deals, picked one up. I guess I picked three up. Um, but uh, the first one I got was Writing Desk. I've been looking for this one for quite some time. Um, glad that I could finally get it. It's more of a brown color. I don't have any brown inks unless um, I count my Caveco cartridges, but I don't have any um, other than that one. And then this is another one I picked up, which is Lead Cast Letters. And this is my first gray ink. Um, it was either this one or I was going to pick up one of the Earl Greys from Diamine, but um, I hadn't gotten a chance to do it. So I picked this one up instead. We'll see what that looks like. And then finally, um, one that I kind of saw, I'm kind of curious to what it will be like. This is the Land of Shangri-La. Um, I already have a green ink, um, but this one's supposed to be more brown green with some shimmery shimmering so we'll see what it looks like um but yeah i got all of these um from ferris wheel press um this is the would this would be the second time i've ordered from them um i've done a video earlier about their edward gardens um or edward's garden um, which they just restocked so if you like that ink um now it's a chance to do it um i will just preface um ferris wheel press has a lot of good sales i think where they kind of get you is on the shipping um, I paid $22 for shipping their Canadian company. I, I live in the U.S., so maybe that's why. But um, I didn't pay anything for these inks because I had loyalty points built up, but I paid $22 in shipping. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're like me, um, I do like to make my dollar stretch. So um, just try to accumulate those points, and then you can get a kickback and then just have to pay the shipping cost. So it's probably better to buy stuff at once. Um, that way you're kind of saving yourself. But yeah, I'm gonna switch the angle to overhead this time and I'll be using my new um, ink swatch guide that I showed you guys on my previous video. I picked this up at the pen show. So here it is, the catalog. And I'll be using this um, to document these three inks. Um, but yeah, I'll switch the overhead view and we will get started.
Okay, now that we've done the swatches, I just wanted to talk about what I thought as far as the ink. The first one we did, which was the lead cast letters, um, I actually really like this one. Um, I know that in the camera it's hard to kind of see, but if you um, are able to turn it, um, there is a slight shimmer to it. It is more gray black. So I think the heavier spots, your pen will be more black and then the lighter spots will be gray. I actually really, really like this ink. It does look kind of similar to the um, uh, Earl Grey that I was talking about from Diamine. So um, this one I'll probably use quite a bit um, and I'll put this in my pen going forward. But yeah, I really like this one. was really happy with the way that turned out. Um, as far as the Shangri-La, or the land of Shangri-La, I was kind of, it's interesting because the photo online shows it a lot more green than what it came out on. You can see it's like, um, let me see if I can focus there. It's like more brown, but interestingly enough, like it is, uh, it does have a green to it. So maybe it's just because I hadn't mixed the ink well enough or maybe just the lighting. But if you are curious, I would recommend checking out their website. The hard thing is, is when they take photos of these inks, they're not always accurate. And so you have to kind of do it yourself. And I've always found that depending on what kind of paper you use can lead to different results. So this is a, a thicker, I think, what, what was it, 100 GSM. So, and I've always found, um, sorry, not 100, it's 270. Yeah, 270 GSM. I've always found personally that using uh, Toma River has the best results for if you're looking for a, um, a good um, representation of what an ink is. And then also um, this new ink, or excuse me, new paper I've been trying, which is Midori is obviously really good as well. So yes, I was, I'm slightly um, interested to, to further explore this one. Um, I, like I said, would recommend you check out the website if that is something you're willing to or considering buying. Now, the writer's desk. I think this, or writing desk, um, this is that kind of chocolate caramel um, ink. Uh, this one, it's kind of like copper, like uh, Diamine's copper. I think it's copper or burnt copper, but or ancient copper. This one I really, really like. Um, it, it, it doesn't, um, how do I describe this? It doesn't feel like the brown that I have currently, which is a very like, like a dark um, redwood brown. And I really like that one, but this one is more like a, like I said, like a, a chocolate. Um, it has um, like a gold shimmer to it. Um, and it, 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 it is really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit better. But yeah, this one I really, I saw this on their um, social media page uh, about six months ago. And I had wanted to buy it at the time, but I decided not to um, at, the, at that point. Um, but now having finally picked it up. I'm really happy I did. It, it is a different kind of ink. I don't have any browns other than that one from Caveco, but those are the cartridges and those those go into my old trusty um, sport. Yeah, is that a sport? I don't think. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting things now. Um, but yeah, I have that brown, but this is my first um, from an ink uh, bottle. So yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I think if I had to rate these on a scale, or I guess I'll just rate them out of three, I would put this one at first. The brown is really nice, um, and I'm really happy that I had picked it up. Uh, second place, obviously, would probably go to Lead Cast Letters. That one has a nice tone to it, um, and I will be using this for um, painting or um, or just writing. I have gotten into using my inks as um, as uh, like colors for pictures now too, which is really awesome. Now I have kind of an assortment. Um, I think the only one I might be missing now in is orange and purple, which I might be picking some up for uh, in the future. Um, and then last place, not because it was the worst, just because um, I had need to do more exploring with this. Uh, this had high reviews very high reviews and I just don't think I got um, what other people were getting so yeah I'll do some more um, research I guess into that and then um, say in a video to come back and see if I have any different results but yeah anyways that was it just a uh, video on Ferris Wheel Press's ink I'll link their uh, information in the description they have a loyalty program, like I was saying. Um, I think you get a bonus for liking their Facebook or signing up with email and um, 
you can accumulate quite a bit of points to getting free things. So I think that's pretty fine or pretty fun. But anyways, thank you for struggling with me during this video. If you want to like and subscribe to get more content like this, um, I just got back from my trip. So I have um, another video I'll be posting here shortly. I picked up a couple odds and ends while I was out, but I also um, am gonna do a flip through of my journal while I was abroad. I have a bunch of cool things in here. And so I wanted to do a flip through with you guys. Um, one of the comments from a previous video had mentioned doing a flip through and I just wanted to do that. So look out for that video, maybe in about a week or so, once I feel a little bit better and I can talk more. But anyways, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you have watched and I hope you have a great day.